Hi, welcome to The Gainsplainer. I'm Jeff The Gainsplainer and today I'm Gainsplaining on Mars. On Mars is a one to four player game from Eagle Griffin Games by my favorite designer, Vita Lasada, uh, and it's, it fulfills. It fulfills everything that requires me to want and like about Vita Lasada's games. There's a heck of a lot going on. There's a lot of time that needs to be spent learning the rules before you play the game. Once you're playing it, it kind of makes sense and it runs relatively easily together. But learning the rules is another thing altogether. On this board, you have in orbit and on Mars. You can do a whole bunch of stuff in orbit, but you've got to wait to catch a shuttle back to Mars in order to do the on Mars stuff. Sometimes you're going to need to do something that's in orbit, sometimes you're going to need to do something that's on Mars. A lot of the game is on Mars. But quite often to do the thing here that you wish to do, you're going to have to go there and that's going to take some time. And the later in the game you wait, the more time it's going to take you. I played this with my wife. She is not a fan of space games. It's just that space genre does her head in. Um, I've even tried changing ideas to make it a something else game or pirate game or a, a this game or a that game. And it hasn't quite worked, but... In, in terms of her head course, she looks and goes, oh no, it's a space game. I can see it's a space game. Obviously it's a space game. Uh, she has this aversion to it. She doesn't hate space games because I have placed space games in front of her previously and she's gone, well, I dislike space games, that was okay. But she has a huge aversion to playing them. So I fear that this isn't going to make it back to the table in my house anyway. I may be able to get back to the table with other players in other groups, but in my house, I don't think this one's going to make it back, unfortunately. Now, as I said, there's a heck of a lot going on with this game, and the idea is that you're building up Mars with different stations that create different things, like oxygen, for example. And there's, there's actually a track in the rules that say you need to get this to help you with this, and this one helps with this, and this helps with it, all the way around. So each thing is helping with each other. Now, fortunately, you start with a couple of resources that are going to enable you to do something and then just follow that track to be able to do the next thing, next thing, next thing, next thing. Be very careful with this game, however, that it finishes once three elements have been completed or once everything's been pushed up the tracks far enough, depending on where that is. And that's going to change this game dramatically depending on how you play. So you've got to really keep an eye on both areas of the board to see what is worth manipulating. It's quite easy to kind of continue through this game without really acquiring points, without really pushing your points count up and just kind of going through the actions. So having an idea of what is going to be scored at the end is really, really important with this one uh, so that you have a chance and you can spend your time chasing after those things rather than just going after the things that kind of keep you moving forward. So, look, it's been a while since I got this game. It's taken me a heck of a long time to get it to the table and even longer now to get the video done. But have a look at it and see what you think. If you're able to find it and get your hands on, on Mars, it, it's, it's a worthwhile game, as with all the Vita Lasadas. It's deep, it's dense, it's got this ah uh, to it. So if you like Vita Lasadas games, this is one that you will like, assuming that you don't dislike space games. It sits in amongst that category of, of the Lisboas, kind of in that space of thinkiness. So I'll leave it there. Go ahead, watch my games play games nation to get a feel for how the game plays and what the rules are. If you have any comments or suggestions, please write them below. If you have any games that you would like to be gamesplained, please shoot me an email to thegamesplainer at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at thegamesplainer to keep up to date with the games that I'm playing. Subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games that I'm gamesplaining. And until next time, enjoy gaming.